Hello and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today we're going to be talking about and looking at how we can utilize, in my opinion, the best video editor for multi-camera editing heading into 2025. Multi-camera editing can allow you to really improve the quality of your content by having three, for example, different angles of yourself uh, talking to the camera. Flicking between can increase engagement, which leads to higher channel growth on all social media platforms. Now, even using the software Wondershare Filmora, even if you just have one camera, you can do duplicate the footage to make yourself have essentially multiple cameras that you can cut between and honestly this is super simple sweet so let's jump in to today's tutorial first things first I'm on Wondershare Filmora I'm gonna select create project once I've downloaded it in the top left hand corner now once I select create project it's gonna bring up this page and I'm gonna see my whole entire timeline. Now simply to start with, I'm gonna include and import the three clips onto my page that have um, and essentially are my multiple camera angles. So I found my three clips on my hard drive and they're all taken at the same point. Now currently they have slightly different lengths but overall they're all covering the same topics. I'm gonna to select all three and select open. Now simply while I'm on this page right here, I'm gonna select all three of my clips, double click on right hand side and select create multi-camera clip. Now the synchronization method is gonna to have to be the audio, so it looks at your audio files and matches them all up. And I'm gonna select OK. And I should also say thank you very much to Filmora for sponsoring today's video. This is in collaboration with them. Now we can see that I've got my first multi-camera clip on my timeline. Just right now, there's only one camera showing. However, there is another three behind the scenes that we can easily flick between. So next up, what we need to do now is simply select up the top here, this little four rectangles and one, four squares and one rectangle, switch to multi-camera view. Got it, it gives you a little tutorial, but here you'll see my main clip timeline footage right here at the bottom, and the three camera angles that I can also select to choose from. For example, at the start, I could want to have the one facing me. So I've got the one camera facing me. Um, I'm then gonna select a cut at some point. So I'm talking, and as soon as I turn my head, I want to change to the camera which I'm now looking down. So I'm gonna select the cut tool here. I'm then gonna make sure the right hand side is selected, and I'm gonna select my second clip, which is the one right here. Perfect, absolutely lovely. I'm gonna continue to play in. Then as I switch back to my main camera, I'm gonna select cut. I'm gonna select the clip again right here in the center and we're back in business. And like I'm saying, if you've got more than one camera, this really does add masses of dynamics to your video. And so as a result, as you add more different camera angles and cuts, especially if you're doing, for example, tech videos, then this can be a really valuable tool. Now the thing why, and the reason why I like this so much is that it utilizes, utilizes its software AI to essentially make this process absolutely rapid. I did not have to sync up the files myself. I do not have to have three different layers of essentially footage and drive me crazy and chop and change and chop and change and mess up the sync, no. Filmora does it all in one, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So now if I go back to the standard view, I can also trim to make sure we're at the start of my video. And here we go, I'm gonna play it. So this is multi-camera editing, and the beauty about it is, it provides you so much freedom within your content. If you've got more than one camera, you start adding dynamics to your video, you start adding brand new shots. And that is just an example, but I think you can really see how valuable and easy this tool is to utilize. Now for me as well, a key editing tip is that you really wanna cut and change the camera angle when there is a clear emotional change. So you would never just swap, swap, swap. You pick and choose your moments as a presenter to firstly change the camera angle, and then that is emphasized by changing the cut of the video with the multi-camera setup masses of value and it can also signal a change in the video dynamics top youtubers like mr beast marcus brownlee they use multiple cameras all of the time ali abdul these guys know what they're doing these girls know what they're doing out there they use multiple cameras because it essentially adds masses of value and the main thing as a, as a creator or somebody making content when you're starting out you want things to be as quick and as streamlined as possible and that is exactly what filmora does the second feature I wanna show you is, let's say you wanna create a multi-camera clip, but you only have one camera. So here I'm operating three. Um, let's say you're doing an interview, and yeah, you wanna create a multi-camera clip nice and easily. What can you do? Well, firstly, let's find the clip we'd like to import. So let's say it's this media clip right here of a podcast. You can see I've got two different people. Was it, wasn't it cheaper for you? Two different people in the shot. Now, if I wanted to create a multi-camera clip, what I'd do is I'd, I'd essentially start my timeline again. Um, I would drag and drop my clip to my timeline, um, and I would match to the media if you're, you know, haven't updated the project settings like I haven't. And then I would Control C, Control V to duplicate the clip. I bring it above, 
make sure it's all in line. And then I've essentially got two different clips. They're exactly the same right now. However, if you had three people in the shot, then you can duplicate it to three, four, duplicate it to four. And then if you wanted to maintain a wide shot as well, you'd duplicate that again. So what I'm doing right now is building up my base. So you've got three different camera angles right here, a wide shot at the bottom, which we're gonna leave exactly how it is, a close up of myself on the right hand side. So I'm gonna double clip the second clip um, and I'm gonna make sure I'm on transform. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to essentially transform this and zoom in right close to my face, just about here. So maybe even closer. And of course, the higher quality you film in, the better it is going to be. For me right now, I wasn't filming in 4K, but that is what you ultimately want to do. Um, and then below this, I'm gonna make sure that I have another camera clip that is essentially focused on my friend uh, across the side from me, my friend Alistair. So let's zoom in over this way, over here. And then you can see I've got three different camera angles. Firstly, I've got myself right here, nice and tight. Secondly, I've got my friend uh, nice and tight as well. Make sure they're nice and aligned. And then finally, I've got my uh, what super wide shot right there. So I've now subsequently got three camera angles from one camera. I'm gonna highlight all three of them and select right click. You guessed it, create multi-camera clip. I'm gonna select multi-camera clip two. They wanna be synced up by audio. I'm gonna select okay. It's gonna do the same process as before. And now, based on who is speaking, exactly like before, I can select the clip. So to start with, I want my default to be uh, the wide shot. Was it, wasn't, it, wasn't it cheaper? And then as I start speaking, I'm gonna select a cut, and then I'm gonna select a close-up myself. Eat food out, then cook. Yeah, yeah. Then if my friend Alice starts speaking, I'm gonna cut again, I'm gonna select and him. Asian, you just eat. And now if I go back to my overall uh, overarching view, what we're gonna see is... Was it, wasn't it cheaper for you to eat food out than cook. Yeah, yeah, in Asia you just eat food out pretty much every day, just because it is just so And that is exactly how you're gonna make a multi-camera clip look super smooth and nice. Um, and for me, this honestly adds so much value, especially in podcasts, for example. Allowing yourself to cut between clips easily works an absolute treat. Making magic from one camera is also uh, a fantastic piece of kit. And then there's of course the way of using multi-camera editing to create a match cut dance sequence. You film the same moves, add them to your timeline, and then cut them on the beat using the multi-camera editing feature like before, highlighting the clips, creating a multi-camera clip, and then you end up with a very seamless and cool um, dance clip. Now in essence, Filmora's multi-camera editing tool unlocks unlimited possibilities, and you can try today to transform your editing, and I genuinely think it is great for anybody out there that is creating content on a personal level or for brands, especially the likes of podcasts or people trying to elevate their content. It'll be linked down in the description below, and for the holiday and new year season, they're offering 30% off. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video and found this tutorial useful. If there's any questions or you'd like any further help, then please let me know down below in the video comments. I'll be there to support you. But for now, thank you very much to Filmora for sponsoring today's video. Check them out in the top link of the description and take care.